What's up everybody? Mark with Coffee and Toys here. Back in the saddle, happy to bring you another G.I. Joe Classified series action figure unboxing and review. And just like I did for Comic Book Friday, I'm going to give you a G.I. Joe Classified 2-in-1 today because it's been a while. I got both these in at the same time and they're both related. So today on the channel, we will be reviewing the Action Sailor and the Action Soldier from the G.I. Joe Classified line. Let's talk about it. So these figures were created to celebrate the 60th anniversary of G.I. Joe. Now, if you aren't aware, the 60th anniversary of G.I. Joe, G.I. Joe actually started in 1964 with the 12 inch version of the G.I. Joe figure uh, representing the various uh, branches of the military. So for a commemorative 60th anniversary, the G.I. Joe classified team put together the Action Soldier and the Action Sailor. And these are very cool because these are, uh, they're not completely new molds, but there are a lot of accessories with them. They are done in special packaging. They, we are back to the windowed packaging here now for 2024. And I'm really looking forward to these. So if you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Mark, part of Coffee and Toys. And what we do on here is we review action figures. We talk about comics and, you know, especially, uh, when it comes to reviewing action figures, anything from my childhood. So we're talking G.I. Joe, Star Wars, Masters of the Universe, wrestling, Marvel Legends, you name it. If it's something that I might enjoy and you might enjoy, you'll probably wind up seeing it on the channel. You can look behind me. You can see that I'm mostly an out-of-box collector, but I do, you know, I tend to double up on some things to keep. And yeah, welcome to the channel. If you're familiar with my channel, welcome back as well. Make sure you like the video. Make sure you hit the subscribe bell down below. Set it to all notifications, all that fun stuff. And make sure you comment on these videos. I try to reply to all the comments. And let me know today after you watch this video if you will be picking up the 60th anniversary G.I. Joe classified action sailor and action uh, action soldier and action sailor. <laughs> uh, but that being said, let's go check out these figures in the packaging and move on from there. Okay, so just for the sake of time, I'm going to go ahead and kind of do both the boxes at the same time for both the Action Sailor and the Action Soldier. Um, as you can see, they are in that window packaging that I mentioned earlier, and it's got a special G.I. Joe classified packaging. The Action Soldier is done in a gold color uh, around the outside with the gold 60th logo down here that I really enjoy, and the Action Sailor has a blue uh, box, but still representing that gold 60th anniversary uh, badge down on the lower corner and again these are these are classified considered classified figures but they do not have a classified number in the series they do have some magnificent artwork there you go you're able to see the uh action sailor and you are able to see the action soldier and they do have those qr codes which unfortunately do not take you anywhere other than to hasbro's uh main website and choose whether you want to play or where do you want to buy toys um always disappointed with that uh, these do, interestingly enough, come with hang tabs. So both of these figures did come with those. And spinning around the other side, you can see this awesome artwork of the Action Sailor and the Action Soldier. And I'm really loving this artwork. It's consistent and it looks wonderful. Spinning around to the back, of course, you get that uh, awesome kind of digital background with the figure in the forefront. And per normal, you see uh, the sailor, you get to alternate uh, with the uh, scuba gear on. He's got his little communication device. And of course, there's a uh, battleship in the background. And then for the action soldier, just slide this over a little bit. For the action soldier, we do see that they uh, have a tent in the background, you know, kind of in a, a grassy, hilly area. Uh, and of course, we do see that he comes with an alternate head sculpt. Both figures actually come with an alternate head sculpt and uh, sporting his walkie-talkie down here and his helmet. And one thing to point out, uh, it does say right here what it includes on the Action Soldier. The Action Soldier includes one figure and 25 pieces. That is absolutely bonkers. And the Action Sailor comes with one figure and 17 pieces. So you get a little less with the Action Sailor, but they are both fantastic figures. So with that being said, let's go ahead and spin these around one more time so you can get a look at what they look like uh, one final time in the packaging, but as you know, we really want to see what these are out of the packaging, so let's just get right to it. Okay, here we have it. We have the Action Sailor and the Action Soldier of the G.I. Joe Classified line 60th anniversary of G.I. Joe. And uh, first impressions is I have a very small stack over here. You can't see I'm motioning to it, though. Very small stack of Sailor accessories and a very large stack of... Uh, 
uh, action soldier accessories. It certainly seems like, even though it's 17 pieces versus 25 pieces, it certainly seems like there is a lot more than 25 pieces here for the action uh, soldier, but that's okay. So let's do this. Let's start with the uh, action sailor. I'll set off the soldier to the side for right now. And yeah, first glance is I love the head sculpt. So let's just zoom in there and get a nice close up of that. And this is the head sculpt that came on my figure. Now, maybe some figures come with the Caucasian. Maybe some people come with the African-American. I don't know if they did it all the same or not, but I do enjoy this head sculpt. This guy means business. And again, we got that two-tone gray. The entire uh, wetsuit is kind of a, a two-tone color with this. Uh, I can't tell if this is green or gray. It's kind of really close to tell. Now, this was already on him his uh, life vest that's over top of him. And then of course on the back, he has his actual uh, scuba gear, which this is very cool because you'll notice that it has the uh, the uh, crossed out Cobra logo and it says GI Joe issued classified grade property of special forces unit, not for civilian use or resale. Now that is very, very cool that they put that in there. Very cool. And then we even got some, some uh, additional little details down here for the bottom of the... Uh, the air tank, I suppose that's supposed to be. Man, that is just some great attention to detail. Good job. Cl Classified team's the best thing going at Hasbro. Those guys and gals need raises because they are just knocking this stuff out of the park. Now, of course, you could remove this and look underneath. You can see a smaller vest and you can see uh, the various straps and uh, areas for him to keep his sidearms and whatnot. Moving down the body, you can see he has an area to keep his blade. Got some pockets over here. Got the rest of the wetsuit all the way down to the bottom. And of course we see 2023 Hasbro made in China. And then uh, we get some various stamp information at the bottom. I'm not really sure what that's used for, maybe other than tracking anymore. Uh, he does also have his communicator on his wrist. I forgot to mention that. Now this, I believe, is the same communicator that you might see on the Cobra Eel and or Torpedo. And we'll make sure to do comparisons at the end of the video uh, with their respective counterparts. So yeah, very, very cool. Now, of course, once again, we have more than just the figure itself. We do have quite a bit of accessories we'll need to go through. Uh, we'll just start with the alternate head because the other alternate head is the Caucasian head. And again, another very well-sculpted face. Um, not really much more to say about it, but it is a very uh, nice sculpted face. Can't tell if those are blonde eyebrows or not but there we go so and again you just pop it off put the one on of your choice moving on we do have his flippers so and uh there they are they are just the standard flippers that came with the eel and torpedo you can see they've got an r for this one for the right foot and l for left foot so very good we have his harpoon gun again this is the same harpoon gun that has come with uh Torpedo and the eel, I believe. Nothing new there. Cast with a little bit of whatever this grayish color or greenish gray and then the, the, the more darker black and the uh, silver point on the uh, spear gun. Uh, we got a lot of stuff. Uh, we get his uh, blade and it's cast in black with a silver blade. So that's very nice. Mine's a lot of the issue I had getting these out of the package was that for all for both figures, as these smaller weapons are really in there tight and you you bend it when you pull them out. There's no real way around it. Luckily, the, the material is flexible and you can pretty much get it flexed back into the shape you need it in. Um, he did come with his sidearm pistol with the extended magazine and it did come with a uh, silencer that was actually already attached. So let's just go ahead and reattach that back on there. So there you can see cast in one collar, nothing too special there, but we do have the opening for a blast effect. He does come with an assault rifle as well. Again, removable clip and all these accessories we've seen before with various figures throughout the uh, classified line. I, don't, I haven't seen anything yet that's like, oh, that's new, but still pretty cool. Uh, we get the satchel cast in kind of that military green color. So this is the same satchel, I believe, that came with the retro snake eyes, uh, the bomb satchel. So very cool to give that with a, uh, with a seal or a, a Navy soldier. I'm assuming he's seal because of his outfit. Um, we do get his, uh, suit or, um, his, his mask and got the number 24 on here. I'm not sure what that's supposed to represent, but you can see it does plug into the front piece of his, uh, body. And I assume this goes on the back of his pack, but I'm not sure. So we'll spin it around real quick and see if it goes, uh, I don't know where this goes. It's got a little plug in it. 
but I am not sure. I'll have to, uh, I will have to look at the, the box to see what this is, or if this, maybe this goes to the back of this piece, which is his, uh, his apparatus that allows him to move underwater. What's the name of this? What's this called? A little propulsion engine? I don't know. Drop me a comment if you know the name of it. Now, it does have a movable fan. Well, actually, I should say this. It's two pieces. So we put the, the tank off to the side. And this does open up and allow you to kind of take it apart, I guess. So the fan does turn. So that's neat. Uh, I'm, I'm not an expert on underwater stuff. I've, I've never been scuba diving or anything like that. So I couldn't tell you exactly what pieces are what, but you can see it has its little uh, sonar down here. That's really cool. And again, it plugs in just like so to here. And then underneath he does have, well, I thought that was a screen, but you know, I assume they just hold on to it and it propels them through that. Oh, that's a nice design. We do have the GI Joe logo on it. So that's very cool as well. Uh, trying to get this to match back up. Evidently, I'm more or less just breaking stuff today. Maybe it goes, oh, it goes that way. There we go. So that's interesting. I guess it should go like this. That makes more sense. And then you hold on to it and go about your merry way. So we have that. And then uh, finally, I think the only thing we haven't really covered is two final items. We have a pair of dog tags, which I think is very cool. So we do get a pair of dog tags with him and a stand. So thank you Hasbro GI Joe team for stands. Really appreciate that. Um, don't have to worry about finding a third party one. So yeah, that pretty much sums it up for the action sailor. Now let's take it over to the action soldier. Okay, now we have the action soldier. And this one, like I said, has a lot of uh, pieces and parts. So we will just get right into it. He does come with this, uh, this camo outfit directly on top of him from the figure. We will take that off, but he does come like that in the actual um, box. So it's really cool. This does just pop right off. So it's just a uh, over mask. And then you should be able to pull this straight off. Revealing what underneath is very, very nice. I have to imagine that one Mr. Uh, Bobby Valla is probably, <laughs> probably has some choice words with Hasbro uh, releasing stuff that looks very close to his. But hey, you know what? More than one uh, company can make uh, soldiers, right? So that being said, as you can see, there are uh, lots of things to peg on or stick onto this body, onto his uh, armor. And again, we do have a, uh, a face sculpt. We have two different face sculpts. I'll get to the other one in a minute. But as you can see with this one, it is a fully covered mask, bak uh, bak uh, balakova mask. And then we got this awesome digital camo all the way down the body. And you've, we've seen this body many times uh, in the G.I. Joe classified line. It's nice to see it with this nice uh, kind of desert woodland. Uh, I don't know. You could probably say desert. You could say woodland camo. I think it looks spectacular. I can't wait. The, these will be fun to take uh, action shots outside with, especially as, as it's starting to turn spring. Be able to get some really good pictures. And uh, yeah, you can see he's got a canteen on here. I mean, there's a lot of detail here. It's just so neat all the way up and down this figure. Of course, everything's pinless, knees, arms. And uh, yeah, this is a, it's got the cuffed arm. So this is probably uh, more of a stalker uh, classified body. But yeah, very, very, very cool. I am digging this guy so far. Let me zoom back out. And wow, we've got a lot of accessories to go through. So let's just head on into it. First of all, we have, if you watch my review of the vamp, you are very familiar with this. This is the 50 cal. And we do get the base for it as well. As you can see, it just, pull, oops, helps if I don't do that. Plugs right in. And now you've got the base for a huge, huge weapon for him to use. That also sports a uh, clip that you can add on to it. So that's very cool. Um, I mentioned the alternate head. We should have covered that one probably first. Of course, the alternate head is uh, uh, looks to be African-American. And again, just an awesome thing to have. I can see people taking these uh, really troop building and maybe even painting these up a little bit if they chose to and, you know, having completely different characters or who knows, uh, we get a helmet. So we get the pretty much the standard GI Joe classified series helmet that we've been seeing with a lot of the characters like uh, grunt and uh, clutch, basically OG 13 style. We get this very large backpack, which I believe this was Outbacks. Uh, drop a comment if it's Outbacks. I, I believe it is. It's very large, so I'm assuming it's Outbacks. We get a uh, heavy assault rifle here. You've got the 
the pack underneath that you can uh, pull in and out. I believe this came with, uh, was this one of Roblox? I'm looking back and seeing, I, I thought this was Roblox, but I can't quite remember. But again, it's cast in this uh, nice kind of brownish uh, gray color with a green clip. Uh, very nice. And again, it's got the opening for uh, blast effects on the muzzle. Uh, we get a smaller assault rifle. Again, this one's got the, uh, the secondary uh, where you can hold uh, to steady it and it moves up and down. We get the clip as well. And again, casting that very nice brown and green. I'm really liking this color. It really gives that, that uh, woodlands kind of feel to it. He does come with a small walkie-talkie. Again, cast in brown with a black screen. Sidearm, just cast in brown, but again, it does, actually I don't think this one, this one does not have an opening for blast effects. So unfortunately for that one. Uh, we do get this uh, pulled down hood is what I think this is supposed to represent. So you could actually just say that he had it pulled down instead of over his head. So basically it's the pulled down version of this, I believe. And um, I've got this device and I don't know what it is. So I'm going to need somebody in the comments to tell me what this is because it is a small gun of sorts maybe a flare gun. I don't know. It does have a trigger. I'll zoom in a little bit, but I have no idea what this is. So if you know in the comments, let me know what that is. He also comes with dog tags as well. So very cool to have dog tags. I just like having dog tags. I think it's a really cool accessory. He does come with an alternate pair of hands. So he's got the, uh, the African American hands as well, which I guess makes sense if you're going to, uh, give someone a, a different ethnicity, you probably should have matching hands as well. Don't have to worry about that on the, on the sailor because he's all in his wetsuit. And then finally, he comes with various uh, packs and patches to put on. There's a small one. There's a medium one that's got the G.I. Joe logo star on it. That's very cool. A larger size one to go over his midsection. Uh, a, I'll call it a medium large one pack. Looks like it would actually almost go on his, yeah, it goes on his side. And then uh, a uh, medium uh, pouch like this. And finally, he does also come with a brown uh, stand. So thank you again, Hasbro, for listening to the fans and giving us stands with our figures. I appreciate it. I kind of wish the stand was was black just because it would be, it would match all the other stands we had, but I, I get it and I can live with that. I'd rather have a stand than no stand, uh, color notwithstanding. But yeah. Very cool figure. So I think what we need to do now is we need to accessorize both these guys and uh, do some comparisons. Okay, we have both the Action Soldier and the Action Sailor set up on their stands with their gear uh, and looking just fantastic. Uh, both figures I am very, very pleased with. This is a great reuse of existing molds to be able to give yourself a new character that can world build. I mean, both these figures could completely world build. If you are, uh, if you really like, if you're more into the military aspect of GI Joe and you just want grunts, I mean, you've, you've got outside of grunt, of course, you have these, uh, soldiers that can be in your platoons and I'm loving each and every one. I'm loving both of them. I think these are fantastic. But that being said, we like to do comparisons on this channel, so we will start once again with the Action Sailor. I will move the Action Soldier out of the way, and we will compare the Action Sailor to one Mr. Torpedo from the G.I. Joe Classified line, just so you can see kind of the similarities and the differences here. And just bringing them both into frame, you can see there's a lot of reuse. Um, but very, but they just feel very, very different. I mean, this one's got a lot more gear kind of based a little bit more. I won't say more in reality, but I mean, you know, definitely if you're a Navy SEAL, you're going to be having as much gear as you possibly can versus, uh, Torpedo, who's a little more slimmed down in the gear department, but you can clearly see this is a figure that is, you know, completely using the same mold, no differences whatsoever, even down to the little, uh, device on the arm. But still, uh, looking looking at the backpack and stuff, it's interesting because on this one, on Torpedo, it connects to his backpack, but on this one, it doesn't, the, uh, the breathing apparatus. And there was no alternate one, so very cool. But again, with the additional detailing they put into this guy, it is just absolutely fantastic. You guys tell me, who's going to be your seal, Torpedo or the Action Soldier? 
So there we go with that comparison. I'll set them off to the side temporarily so we can review now the action soldier who I will bring into frame right here. And of course, representing G.I. Joe Classified and G.I. Joe the team will be none other than Grunt. So there you go. You can see a quick little detail. They both have the exact same helmet. Uh, and then as you go down the body, you know, similarities, but really a lot of differences. Uh, different boots used for a uh, verse on the action uh, soldier, who I believe these boots came with a couple other uh, classified figures. I just can't think off the top of my head who they are. You can drop me a comment and let me know who, who's, uh, whose boots those are, whose boots are made for walking. Uh, but yeah, got all the packs on the figure, got Grunt with his gun, action soldier with his, uh, his weapon of choice, and yeah, just fantastic overall for both of these. So again, you could you could mass build uh, grunts and and action soldiers and have yourself quite a little platoon. But yeah, fantastic, absolutely fantastic. So there we go. Let me get grunt out of the way, and we will bring in the uh, the action sailor for our final thoughts on these figures. Oops. Go ahead and just pick that up, move it out of the way for now. I love them. I'm happy I picked them up. I do believe they are both available on Hasbro Pulse right now. You can go pick yourself up uh, one or both. Uh, I actually picked up two action soldiers, one sailor. I might just pick up another sailor and another action soldier. Um, maybe I'll play the long game on it. I'm not sure. But man, I am digging these. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you did, I'd really appreciate it if you gave me a thumbs up. Just clicking that button down below takes only a second of your time and really helps out the channel. But it has been great to be able to give you guys another figure review. And with that being said, uh, make sure you comment, like, subscribe, all those fun things. Let me know what you think of the Action Soldier and the Action Sailor from the G.I. Joe Classified Series 60th Anniversary of G.I. Joe. But with that said, I'm Mark. You've been watching Coffee with Toys, and I'll see you later.